guys welcome back okay so yes i'm sitting on the floor in my beauty space right now because you know what i need to declutter some of my eyeshadow palettes i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that i actually keep in these drawers that i pretty much never touch never go to never even really look at <laughs> so i need to decide today's the day if I'm going to keep this palette because I'm going to use it or for some other reference reason or if I need to give it away if I've never used it or declutter it. So yeah, I have actually emptied out about three of these drawers and I have all these palettes down here on the floor in front of me that I'm just going to go through one by one. I will show you guys what they are and decide if I'm going to keep it, declutter it, or put it in my giveaway pile because, yeah, it's time. Now, most of these palettes are my lesser expensive, you know, not the high-end palettes because, you know, my nicer palettes, honey, I don't even need to go through them because they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but over the years, I've kind of accumulated a lot of lesser expensive palettes that either I never even tried or I used them, didn't really care for them, or they might be really nice quality, less expensive palettes, but I just, I'm not going to use them. So anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go through each one and I think if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to put it in this drawer here. And if not, I'm going to put it to the side. Some of them might be a little questionable. I don't know. <laughs> but let's just get started because, honey, this might be a long one, okay? And uh, I just need to make some decisions. Okay, so first off, I have these cute little palettes. I think I actually picked these up from AliExpress. It's a group of five palettes. And these, I believe, were supposed to be the dupes for, um, what is it, the Huda Beauty, the little Huda Beauty palettes. And they're actually really, really nice, really cute. I never even tried any of these. This one is the Jupiter, gorgeous, pink and purple. This one is the Saturn. So I think this one is like the one that I just got in my boxy charm. This one is Neptune, beautiful blue and yellow. This one is Mars, which is the red one. Very cute. And this one is Uranus. Now, for these beauty glazed palettes, I picked them up from AliExpress. I know eventually they did show up on Amazon and they were only like two or three bucks. I got mine for, so maybe I just didn't think they were gonna perform that well, but I still wanna try these. Now that I have some of the actual Huda Beauty palettes, I really need to compare them, but I do wanna try these out. I think my girl, so I'ma keep them. <laughs> I think my girl DJ tried them out, or at least one of them, and she said it was actually really good. Now, this next group of palettes I got from Bat, well, Shop Hush, when they were still around. And these are all the cute little Bad Habit palettes that were part of that group as well. I think these were duping some of the Huda palettes um, when they came out. Now, these palettes, I'll just show you guys a couple of them. These palettes are really <laughs> nice. Now, I, it's not anything that you guys can get because, you know, like I said, Shop Hush is not around anymore. But their dupe palettes were very, very nice. I mean, the pigmentation was nice. The construction of the palette, they have mirrors in there. So, theirs are really nice. I've only used these palettes a couple of times, you guys. And I'm just like... <gasps> I kind of want to keep these. I want to keep these. This is the After Dark. This one is the After Glow. I do actually have a video. Um, I don't know if it's on all these palettes or just some of them. So this one is the After Glow. But they're all just, you know, those same little dupe palettes. Let me show you the rainbow one right quick. Funny enough, <laughs> the colorful one is one that really does not interest me that much. You would think that it would, seeing as how much I love color, but I don't know. It was something about this rainbow one. Maybe the layout or something was missing, but 
it just really did not suit my fancy too much but it's a really really cute palette i wonder if you can purchase bad habit anywhere else because since shop hush is gone it kind of sucks because i'm not going to use any of these palettes in my videos because you guys can't purchase them but i do want to keep them <laughs> just for my own reference you know just for myself okay now I actually have quite a few Shop Hush palettes um, that I'll be going through. This one here is the Dream State from Bad Habit. And I don't even think I use this, you guys. I really don't. It's really pretty. I might have swatched it. It's nothing but a bunch of shimmers. And I actually think that this is a dupe for maybe the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was supposed to dupe the Fenty Galaxy, but I don't remember ever even using this palette. Uh, and it's not really something. I mean, I have the actual Galaxy palette and I don't use it. So I think I'm going to put this in the declutter. Declutter. Okay, next I have here the Face Candy Atlantis palette. Okay. I already know this palette ain't going nowhere, honey, because I love this palette. This palette has some of the most beautiful blues, aquas, mattes, and shimmers. I mean, it creates a gorgeous blue eye look. Gorgeous. The pigmentation, the formula, everything about this palette I love. So this ain't going nowhere. I'm keeping that. Another one of my favorite blue eyeshadow palettes is from ace beauty okay the oceanic that is like the best blue green eyeshadow palette next i have here fantasia and this is from bad habit y'all i have a bad habit of keeping all my boxes <laughs> i just i can't get rid of boxes but the packaging is so pretty on this now this one i think was duping one of the is it the Natasha Denona, one of the ones that she came out? Probably. I don't know. I ain't got it. But I think it was duping one of hers. So, yeah, it's really pretty. Really pretty. Um, I don't know. Nine times out of ten, I'm probably not ever going to use this palette. So, I think this one is going to go in the declutter. It's like, since I do review and purchase so many different palettes especially from indie brands. Now, indie brands be having some of the best, most pigmented eyeshadow palettes, you guys. Don't sleep on the indie brands. That it's like a lot of my beginner palettes that I purchased when I was first starting out, and I don't really reach for them anymore because I have so many more highly pigmented palettes. This is a pretty poison, and this one is from Bad Habit. Okay, this ain't going nowhere, honey. This palette is... Oh, gorgeous this is like one of my favorite pinky purple palettes just absolutely gorgeous the um pigmentation the different textures bomb okay so yeah this ain't going nowhere now this next palette is from bad habit as well like i told you guys i used to shop shop hush like it ain't nobody's business <laughs> but this is the divine palette now look at the packaging so pretty isn't it now, I think this was a dupe for another one of the Natasha Denona palettes. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's not really a palette that you would think that I would want because <laughs> it's not super colorful or anything. But the shimmers in this palette, these shadows, oh honey, they create a beautiful eye look. I wish I could remember the name of the palette this is duping, but this palette is so nice so i am gonna keep it even though it isn't one that's typically my style i'm keeping it okay so next i have these two from bad habit this is the aphrodite and the athena <laughs> now the aphrodite i think that might have been one of the palettes that really put shop hush and bad habit on the map because this duped um the hood of beauty whatever was it the rose gold or something and this palette is actually really really nice so a lot of people picked up this palette and really enjoyed using it so i'm gonna keep it because i don't have uh 
the Huda Beauty palettes <laughs> that these are duping. And this one here, the Athena, and the packaging is so stinking pretty. Yeah, I don't have the palettes that these, the original palettes that these are duping. So I'm going to keep my little dupe palettes just in case I want to play around with them and try them out. But yeah, super duper pretty. I know it seems like I'm keeping <laughs> I'm keeping a lot, but y'all, I'm going to get to the, the, the declutters. I'm a declutter. I am. This here is the Wild Palette from Face Candy. Look at that packaging. It's so pretty. Another Shot Push Palette. Now, what I really like about this palette is the packaging. It's like raised velvet. The black stripes are raised velvet so this is like one of the nicest packaged palettes that i have now this one i believe duped the kat von d sent in saint i <laughs> can't talk the kat von d saint and center palette so you know very different shape and size and everything but the colors in here definitely we're duping the Kat Von D Saint and Center. So I'm going to keep this. I really, really wanted the Saint and Center when it came out. And I kept going back and forth and back and forth whether or not I was going to buy it. And by the time I wanted to buy it, it was sold out. It was gone. So yay me. <laughs> but I have this dupe and it's a really pretty dupe. So I'm okay with it. Okay. <clears throat> couple more Bad Habit palettes now. You know, if you guys are familiar with Shop Hush, Hush, then you already know about these. This is the Solstice and the Supernova. So both of these were duping. Were these Natasha Denona's also? Dang, they, they was really duping Natasha, wasn't they? But this here is the Solstice. So yeah, I think this is supposed to be like the Sunset palette. And this one was like the Leela. The Lila or the Lila. <laughs> so both of these palettes are gorgeous. I was going to give them away and my girl Lily convinced me to keep them. So I'm going to keep these in my collection because I do not have the originals of these palettes. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep these. <laughs> and I am going to use them. I just, y'all, it sucks because with these palettes, like I said, you guys can't get them. So me using them it's kind of like y'all can't get them so you know why would i use them okay so let me move on to some other brands of palettes that i have this one is from a lower end brand you can be and this is called the molten rock heat of course you can see that is a cheap knockoff of the naked heat palette and now this palette, I don't think I ever used it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I never even used it. I actually have, it has a little brush too, but I actually have the uh, real Naked Heat palette and really don't use it. So I know I'm not going to use this. So I think this I'm going to put in a giveaway. Next, I have a few palettes that I picked up from like Marshalls or Ross um or ordered on amazon this palette is called ever changing and this is from folklore folklore the packaging is really pretty very very pretty it feels kind of light and cheap but it's very pretty yeah i don't think i ever used this i don't recall using it but this is what this palette looks like from folklore and i'm pretty sure i got this on amazon it's a very pretty palette but Definitely not one that I will reach for. So I'm going to put this in my declutter. I'll have to look at it closely and see if I swatched it or not. Because I, I don't give away stuff. At least I try not to that I have swatched. Definitely not that I've used. <laughs> so now this palette I got from Marshalls for about $6.99. This is called an Icon palette. Icon by Absolute. I definitely never use this palette. This is what she looks like. Some pretty nice light pastel type shades, but not one that I would ever use. <laughs> this is what happens when you're addicted to makeup and you just buying stuff, okay? Because now, like today, I would never buy that palette. Never. Mm -mm. 
Here I have Berries 2 by BYS. Very cute packaging. I know I got this off of Amazon. It's a really pretty berry toned palette. It has like reds and pinks, a black and a gray in there as well. And I think I used this palette maybe once or twice and it wasn't too bad. Not too bad, but I know I'm never going to use it again. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to use this again. I have too many nice red berry tone palettes. So this is going into the declutter. This is called Secretly a Mermaid. I got this from Marshalls for $6.99. Very cute packaging. Never use this. Not once. <laughs> still has the plastic on it but these are the shades in here so it's very pretty aqua blues and browns even has a brush but i'm not going to use this so this is going in the giveaway okay next i have a palette from coastal scents you guys i used to buy a lot of the little single eyeshadow palettes from coastal scents this is the smoky palette and so as a result i have a lot of of single shadows from Coastal Scents that I don't even use. I need to decide whether I'm going to keep those or not. But this palette is really cute. It has a lot of beautiful, bright, colorful shades. And Coastal Scents, while they're not the best eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow formula that I've ever used, they're decent. They're decent. So, um, but this is something that I'm never going to reach for. Yeah, I have a way too many highly pigmented, colorful palettes. And I will never, ever reach for this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the declutter pile. Now, this is another palette that I bought from Shop Hush, I think. But this is from Ocalon. And I think this was like duping a, another Kat Von D palette, I think. This one is called the Natural Palette. Huge, <laughs> huge palette. And I just, when I saw it, I had to have it. I was like, I gotta have it. I want that palette. I never even used this palette, you guys. You see how big this thing is? This thing is huge. And I never even used it. But there's some gorgeous colors in there. Top row shimmers, bottom row mattes. It's very pretty, but... I'm not going to use it. I got to put it in a declutter because I swatched it. I wish I wouldn't have swatched it because then I could have just gave it away. But going in the declutter. Okay, next I have this BH Cosmetics Special Occasion 39 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. So this is one of BH Cosmetics like combination palettes where it has shadows as well as blushes. Classic black packaging. And... I only used this palette one time. <laughs> I used it once. And, you know, it's there's some pretty colors in there, some really pretty blushes, but this palette is way too big for me to hold on just for the blushes, even though they're gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I'm never going to use it. This is another interesting palette that I got from Shop Hush. This is <laughs> from a company called Malibu Glitz. It looks like a CD <laughs> or a record or something. And it's the 26 color eyeshadow palette. I know I got this just because I thought it was cute. But you can see it's just full of a lot of warm and cool tone neutrals. I mean, I think, is this whole palette? It, is it all matte? No, it looks like there's a few shimmers in there, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I bought this, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I can use that as like transitions and smoking out stuff. But, y'all, I never even touched this palette. <laughs> it's very awkward. It's not something that, you know, I could just stand up somewhere. So, yeah, I'm going to declutter this. Never even touched it. I'm going to put that in the giveaway pile. Okay, next, I have this NYX Beauty School Dropout, y'all. When I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have it. <laughs> I had no business buying this, okay? This is like one of the cute little NYX beauty school books where it comes with a mirror, um, some instructions on different types of looks you can do, but it opens up, it opens up like this. And so one side will have the mirror, one side will have shadows, and the other side will have blush, highlight, and bronzer. Now, I'm pretty sure you can look at these bronzers and see they ain't going to do nothing for me, okay? <laughs> I 
the blush and highlight was cool but the bronzers no not so much and the eyeshadows are actually really pretty really pretty i did a really cute green look with this for new year's a year or so ago i don't remember but very very cute so it's a nice little <laughs> you know combination palette with a mirror type thing but yeah i'm never gonna use this ever so declutter y'all i'm too old to be sitting on the floor <laughs> okay now i have these two palettes from jacob and eli i saw um these reviewed on youtube and i was like "Ooh, i want to try those out i think my girl lily reviewed these too a while back ago as a matter of fact got them off of amazon never even touched them this one is the candy peaches so it's like a peachy tone palette you know nothing to write home about but it's a cute little palette peachy tones and then this one is hidden gems so this one has like more of the smoky colors in there blues um what do you call them like plummy tones and a pink a green so yeah this one is some or hidden gems hidden gems they're both really cute do i think i'll ever use them no so since i haven't touched them i'm gonna put them in my giveaway pile okay now this palette <laughs> honestly i feel like i need to try it out again this is the carity 21 highly pigmented matte eyeshadow palette i tried it out and i didn't like it i did i didn't feel like it was worth what i paid for it okay because it wasn't cheap but you know, and of course, it's a beautiful rainbow palette. Look at those shades. Gorgeous. Looks highly pigmented. But when I used it, it didn't work out that great for me. So I think I want to try this out one more time. And if I don't like it, then I'll know I need to just go ahead and declutter it. But it is a gorgeous palette. I'm going to give it one more shot. We'll see. One more shot. Okay, next I have this Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette. They had this palette on sale. This is the Kaleidoscope Dream. <laughs> they had this palette on sale forever. It might still be on sale, okay? But I don't know. When I swatched it, it's a very unique looking palette. The shapes alone are kind of a bit of a turnoff. But when I swatched this in Sephora, it was like, whoa. The blues and the purples, honey. And this green swatches like crazy so i actually want to try this palette out <laughs> i'm gonna keep it because i'm gonna use it i'm gonna try it out let me know if you guys uh <laughs> you guys are interested in how this performs okay i want to try it out so i'm gonna keep it next i have this kat von d 10 year anniversary palette this was actually a gift and so I'm definitely not going to give it away because it was given to me. But the packaging alone is really, really unique, really nice. I know how people feel about Kat Von D. You know, that's why I don't use her stuff on my channel no more. But the palette itself was really pretty. It's kind of like, you know, one of those collector's items type situations. So I think I'm going to keep it just for that because, you know, it's a collector's item and uh you know if she ever get her act together maybe i can use it again <laughs> okay so. so i have a couple more bad habit palettes that i picked up from shop Hush. these are dupe palettes this one is the inferno yeah. very nice palette got a lot of really good reviews um so yeah that's what this palette looks like really pretty i'm going to declutter this i don't need this Next, I have the Artistry palette from Bad Habit. I'll give it to Bad Habit and Face Candy. Their packaging is on point. This was duping, I think, the... Um, no, this one was duping the ABH Mario palette, I think. Ah, honey, I don't know. So many dupes out there. But yeah, one of those. This was duping something from Mario. There, as you can see, very, very blah, very blah, very boring. One little pop of boring blue. Yeah, and I never used this, I don't think. This is going to be given away. Oh, y'all, this video is going to be long because I ain't nowhere near done. <laughs> okay, this is, these are a couple of Coastal Scents uh, Revealed palettes. I have the Revealed 2 and the Revealed Smoky. 
So these kind of like dupe the Naked palettes, I believe. Now the Reveal 2 looks like this. This is what the Reveal 2 looks like. So really pretty kind of burgundy, pinky tones. Never touched this palette, so it's definitely going in a giveaway. The Revealed Smoky, just like its name suggests, is more of a smoky type palette. It has the blues and browns and purples, so very, very pretty coloring, but I never touched this either. I think maybe I don't care for rectangle shaped <laughs> hands because I don't, they don't do it for me. So this is going in a giveaway as well. This here, this Supreme Femme, I got this off of Amazon. They have these really pretty palettes. I think these are like double dupes for, look at this packaging. So pretty. But these are like double dupes for the Natasha Denonas, I think. They have like two palettes in one. So this one is kind of like the orangey gold and then the mauve tone one, which does not match the cover at all. <laughs> But yeah, so I really like these palettes. They have a, quite a few, I think, on Amazon of the combination dupe palettes. But yeah, I don't. I think I'm gonna give this away because I'm not gonna use this. I have way too many dupes of those palettes, as well as some of the originals. So I'm just gonna give it away. Okay, now this <laughs> look. We all have that makeup we purchased when we first got started and we were trying to get the most bang for our buck, okay? I picked up this giant, <laughs> I don't even know, how many shades are in here? Honey, I don't even know. It's probably a hundred and something shadows in here. But I picked this up, this cute little set where you get like a million different shadows. <laughs> you get a cute little, ouch, a cute little mirror in here. And it's like different trays, I think, that lift up. Yeah. So you can take this off. This is a hot mess. <laughs> and you can lift up these trays and get, you know, different shadows in here. So you have this tray. And as you can see, the colors look beautiful. And then you have these trays that go on top of those trays with even more <laughs> shadows, but I'm pretty sure the quality on these shadows is not that great, but I never even used this, you guys. I bought it, never even used it, so I don't know. Part of me wants to keep it for sentimental reasons, you know, just for nostalgia to refer back to this <laughs> in future videos, so I actually think I'm going to keep this just for that reason. Now this palette here, I believe I ordered from AliExpress or Amazon, and I ordered it because the colors were just so bold and vibrant. This is from TZ Cosmetics. It's the Twilight Eyeshadow Palette, and it just has like a little skull and some spider webs on there. But you guys, look at these colors. Look at them colors in there, okay? The red, the green, purple, blue. The colors are just like super duper vibrant and bright. Like the camera is not doing it justice. These colors are really bold in person. Have not used this yet, but I do want to play with it. <laughs> I really do. So I'm going to keep this one. Now let's take a look at some of these palettes that I got from my BoxyCharm and Ipsy monthly subscription bags. This is the Nightingale from Pretty Vulgar. Now... This is definitely not a palette that I would purchase myself because it is extremely cool tone. Very, very cool tone. But the shadows are really, really nice. It performed very nicely. And the eye look I created with this, I really like. So I'm not giving this one up. I'm going to keep it. This one is from Pure. This is the Soiree Diaries palette. Very, very brown. <laughs> very warm, very tan. This is a really nice basic palette to have. Some gorgeous mattes, beautiful little shimmers down here on the bottom row. Um, I'll probably never, ever use this palette again, to be honest with you. But it's one of those palettes where it's just good to have. I mean, is it really necessary though when you have like Morphe 35O palettes? <laughs> Do I really need any miscellaneous browns in my collection? I don't think so. So I think I'm going to declutter this. 
Next, I have here this Alamar Cosmetics. Y'all, this palette got such bomb reviews. And I never even used this palette. <laughs> I think I swatched it, you know, just to see how bomb it is. But I never even used it. But it got so many good reviews. I'm keeping this, baby, because I'm definitely going to be using that. Next, I have here from Pure Midnight Masquerade. I really, really like this palette. I love the packaging. I know people was like, look, we sick of getting palettes from Pure. <laughs> but this one was actually a pretty nice palette to me. It had these gorgeous blushes in here, as well as, you know, some beautiful shades that you can create eye looks with. The only thing I didn't like is that there's only one matte shadow in here, this brown. And everything else is shimmer, so I did not like that, but I actually like this palette as a whole, and it smells like chocolate. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> it might be gone in the next declutter, but this one, I'm keeping it. Okay, so this is a Moods palette from Laura Sanchez. Okay, I actually really like this palette. I had never heard of her, but I mean, when I did a little research on her and all that stuff, I found that I was like, okay, this is cool. Very creative, artistic. You know, she created the packaging or she created the design for this palette, you know, with a whole little picture basically of her on there. Very cute. Um, This palette is not amazing. <laughs> it's not amazing. It's definitely not something I need in my collection. The colors are nice. It has these two, you know, beautiful highlights in there. Um... The only reason why I don't want to declutter it is just because it's unique. But since I really don't follow her, do I need to keep it? I'm going to declutter it. Okay, next I have this palette from Delancey. This is one of their pro eyeshadow palettes. I did do a video on this and that look was really, really pretty. But I haven't reached for it since. And... The colors in this palette are really pretty. They are actually gorgeous. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, they are really, really pretty. But would I reach for this palette over, say, my Norvina or over, you know, one of my Ace Beauties or over, you know, I don't think so. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because... I got way too many palettes just sitting around, so I'm going to declutter this one. Okay, you guys, I got a couple of BH Cosmetics palettes in here. This is my BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection. This one is the L'Amour palette. Now, this one holds a little bit of a special place in my heart because I did use this palette last Valentine's Day. Their packaging is really pretty. I used it last Valentine's Day to create, I believe, five looks five Valentine's Day looks out of this palette and I must say I liked all five looks. Now this palette doesn't look like it would do that much but if you're curious <laughs> check out my videos from Valentine's Day. Um, I think because of that I'm gonna go ahead and let this palette go because I don't see myself using it anymore. I kind of got sick of it <laughs> after challenging myself to use only this palette for five Valentine's Day looks. I kind of got sick of it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Next, I have the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection Gilded. So this one is the gold-colored packaging. And this is what she looks like. Oh, she's pretty. She is pretty. Hmm. I want to declutter her, y'all. Uh... to think about <laughs> to think about this one uh i don't yeah i don't remember how it performed so i'm gonna think about this one i'm gonna start a think about it pile okay <laughs> this one is wild rose and from style essentials i know i got this from marshall's so it's just one of their lesser expensive palettes i only paid 5.99 for this i used it once in a video and that's about it. <laughs> so it's a really nice, pretty red, pinky tone palette, but 
it's really not anything that interests me now so i'm going to declutter this now this palette here i don't think i ever even used it i mean it's so generic that it doesn't even have like a name i got this from ross i believe it says 20 shade eyeshadow palette <laughs> no name no brand no nothing so this is what it looks like it's really pretty really really pretty kind of has like an island feel to it but i broke this little plastic top i broke it so that's gonna annoy me but these are the colors in this palette it's very pretty i think i should keep it and try it out one more time yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do I'm going to try it out one more time and see if it's any good. I done broke the whole dang on top off now. <laughs> you know, maybe that's a sign that I should get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know what to play with it, though. So, honey, I'm going to tape this top on and try this mug out one more time. Let me put this over here in the maybe pile, okay? In the maybe, maybe junk pile. Okay. Next, I have this must-haves palette from Beauty Glaze. I know I got this off of Amazon. And I um, don't this palette was not all that. It wasn't. It kind of has like, how many? Seven, yeah, it's 35 shades in here. But yeah, this palette was, this formula was not that great. It was not the best. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. It looks beautiful, but yeah, it, it didn't perform for me, so... She going in to declutter. Next, I have this palette that I got from AliExpress. It's called It's Mine. <laughs> Don't know what the brand is, but I know why I picked it because it is gorgeous. Do you guys see these colors in here? And this whole palette is shimmer, okay? These are all shimmers, no mattes, all shimmers. And I mean, it's gorgeous. I don't want to swatch because ugh, I don't have no wipes. Because I think it looks prettier than it actually performs. You know, like, well, I don't know. Those are kind of pretty. <laughs> that was just kind of pretty. Let me see. Uh, uh, oh, that green. Hello. Uh, okay, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it. I'm keeping it. Okay. It's very pretty. I know I shouldn't have swatched it because if I wouldn't have swatched it, it would have got decluttered. <sighs> okay, next. Oh, I got a <laughs> Revolution the Emily Edit palette. This one was the Wants. I, I, I like Emily. I do. I like her a lot. And part of me is like, you know, you got to keep it just because you like her. Just because you like her, you know? <sighs> you know the support and all that and i'll keep it you know i'm gonna put it in the maybe i'm gonna put it in the maybe because i'm not ready to just let it go yet i never reach for this palette probably never will but i'm gonna put it in the maybe Ooh, child this palette should have been in the trash <laughs> this is the j cat uh take me away majestic galaxy palette okay this palette I was not happy when I used this palette, okay? I think I was so upset because of the fact that this palette is so stinking cute. It's very, very cute, very pretty. I was excited to use, you know, all the bright colors in there. But these mattes, they just did not show up, did not work for me. It was just not good. And although it's not, you know, J-Cat is not the most expensive brand, but this palette was a no for me, dog. okay? So... Yeah, this is actually, <laughs> do I have a trash pile? Because <laughs> this is going in the trash. Okay, Okay. next I have here from Ocalon. It says, Press Pigment Palette. I had to have this palette. When I saw this, where did I get this from? Bad Habit? I think I got this from Bad Habit. This was supposed to be a dupe, I think, for like one of the Alice in Wonderland palettes. I mean, so pretty. Look at this packaging so pretty so cute and the palette itself is super duper cute there's a cute little round mirror in there has a brush as well but these are the colors in this palette very you know festive beautiful holiday looks like easter you know whatever very pretty um colors but i think i swatched this palette or something and i quickly became 
unimpressed. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I'm a declutter. I'm not swatching it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and declutter it because I know that even if it's swatched halfway decent, I don't want it. So I'm going to declutter. This. Next, I have a palette from Pro Lux. Got this from Shop Hush as well. I did a video using this palette. I really like it because the packaging is textured. It's raised and textured. Very nice. But I did a video using this palette. This is not something that you would typically think that I would gravitate to. But when I saw this palette, I thought it was really pretty because it has these gorgeous like shimmers in here. I don't know why I'm swatching it because Bad Habit is gone so you guys can't get it anymore. But it has like a bunch of pretty gold metallic type shades in here that just look so, so pretty with just a brown smoky eye. Pop on some of that shimmer and you are good to go. So I did do a video using this palette if you're curious. But like I said, I don't think, I don't know if you can get Pro Lux anywhere else. But I got mine from Bad Habit. Uh, I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. I was going to just go ahead and declutter it. But after swatching it, that's why I don't want to swatch nothing. Because if this swatch is halfway decent, I'm going to keep it. This is a camouflage palette that I got from Coastal Scents. So it's a palette, you know, that you would use for contouring, concealing, things like that. It's a cream palette in their black packaging. I used to use this quite a bit. <laughs> you know, you can see in here that, yeah, I used to use it quite a bit. All the different colors, I would use it um, under my eyebrows to kind of clean up under my brows or as concealer under my eyes. But after a while, I realized that it was a little bit too greasy for me. I didn't like how oily it made me look. So I stopped using it. So yeah, this is going to the declutter pile because I'm never going to use that again. I'm doing good, you guys. I am. Oh, I found another BH Cosmetics. This is a Glam Reflection Smoke. So I have all three from this collection. This one is the Smoke Palette. And I believe, yeah, this one had like the blues in it. And it's, it's nice. It's cute. It's cute. Let me go ahead and swatch it. I don't even know if they still sell these anymore. Do they still sell these, you guys? Yeah, it's, it swatch is pretty decent. Ah. Okay, the smoke is going into maybe pie. <laughs> so they, them swatches was all right. Okay, so yeah, this is going into maybe pile. But yeah, so if they still sell those, the Glam Reflections, y'all might want to check them out. This is an Esmeralda 2 by Beauty Creations. Cute little imitation Gucci packaging. I did a video on this as well. I did a video on a lot of these palettes, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, look at this. Y'all see that? The shimmerification and whatnot. Ah, dang it. I never should have started swatching these. First of all, this video is going to be way too long. And second of all, and third of all, <laughs> but yeah this palette is actually kind of it's kind of okay okay it is really nice for the price so i'm gonna put this in a maybe pile y'all don't hate me okay don't hate me i've been doing good with my declutters okay this palette i did a video on not too long ago this is the juicy by c color and it was a dupe for the kylie one of her palettes honey i don't know which one but it was a dupe for one of kylie's palettes and it was okay it was okay. It didn't knock my socks off. It wasn't bursting with color. It was just okay. So I'm going to put this in my declutter because I do not need this palette. Oh, this is Glam Metals from Crown. Another one that I got in one of my monthly subscriptions. I think it was a boxy charm. Long time ago. It's kind of like the metallic. It had like a rock star type theme, you know, with the guitar and all that stuff on it. The mirror is in the shape of a guitar. <laughs> so this is what this palette looks like. I wasn't too fond of it when I got it. I'm surprised I still have it. I think I kept it just because of the fact that I did do a try on in that video. So I couldn't give it away after that. But yeah, that's going in a declutter. Next, I have the Morphe 
what is this? The 15 in. And I think I actually got this palette in one of my boxy charms as well. So it's one of their 15 pan palettes. This was the end, so it has kind of like the smoky, what, plum shades or whatever, but it's very basic. I don't like these Morphe palettes, the ones that I've tried, the 15 pans. I don't really care for them. So this is going in the Zicleta. Okay, I have a few more palettes that I got in my monthly subscription boxes that I need to decide on. This is the Ipsy and Tetris palette that I got not too long ago in my box and... It's kind of cute. This palette is it's kind of cute. Um will I ever reach for it again? Probably not. Even though, you know, that's a gorgeous blue and a gorgeous silver and purple. I have those colors in other palettes, so 9 times out of 10 I'm not going to reach for this just for those particular shades. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Next, I have this Pure Festival palette. I think I got this in my boxy charm. I like this palette. This palette is really pretty. It's colorful, but I like the packaging as well. You see how the shades are like shiny and the rest of the packaging is matte. And it has the picture of like a Ferris wheel and palm trees in there. I like it because it reminds me of LA, Santa Monica. <laughs> Santa Monica Pier. But these are the colors in this palette. Very pretty. It has that purple, that pink, that beautiful you know, the like glitter type shades in there. So I actually like this palette and it smells like chocolate. So I'm keeping it. Next, I have this Nomad Berlin Underground palette that came in my Ipsy box not too long ago. I was very surprised at this palette. I've never used anything from Nomad, but I was still surprised because looking at the palette, it wasn't very exciting to me. But when I actually used it, I created a look with this pretty green up here, smoked it out with the black, and it came out really nice. So I think I'm going to keep this palette because I'm going to try out some of the other shades in there before I decide to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep this. Okay, you guys, so I have a few more palettes from Shop Hush. These are from Face Candy, and these palettes actually were dupes for some more of the Kylie palettes. This one is the Sahara, and this one is the Amazonia. Yeah, Amazonia. The packaging is so nice. It's like the soft velvet, but it has a shiny writing. So nice. Now, this one, the Sahara, so pretty. Look how pretty it is. Yeah, I'm not that familiar with Kylie's palette, so I couldn't tell you which one it's supposed to do. But yeah, this palette is really, really nice. It's really pretty. I'm not going to let this go just yet because <laughs> it's very pretty. I just need to use it. Y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all care if I use these palettes that you can't get anymore because I know some of you guys have them too. So this one is the Amazonia and this one is another Kylie dupe and it has like a lot of really unique pretty shades in there. That green, that burgundy, that really bright, bright color in there gold shimmer they're all really really pretty so you know let me swatch this oh that feels nice so there's some swatches from this palette very nice very very nice face candy had some good quality <laughs> eyeshadow palettes if you guys know if you can get face candy or bad habit anywhere else now that shop Hush is gone let me know because i would like to let my subscribers know if they can get them somewhere Okay, else. this one is the Retro Love, and this was a dupe for the um, subculture. <laughs> so, yeah, this was a dupe for the subculture, and it's a pretty decent quality palette. A lot of people actually like this better than the subculture because it didn't have as much fallout and it wasn't as hard to use. But me personally... I like the subculture, and since I have it, I don't need this dupe, so I'm going to put this in my declutter pile. Now, this is the Bad Habit Light Speed Palette, which was a dupe for the Kat Von D, what was it? Kat Von D Divine Palette. This one was a dupe for this, and I actually did a video comparing these two palettes. 
Um, and I think they came out pretty close, <laughs> pretty close to each other. So, but I definitely don't need both of them. So this is what the Bad Habit uh, Light Speed Palette, and this is what the Kat Von D Divine Palette looks like. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my Kat Von D, and I'm going to declutter my Light Just Speed. Just a couple more. This is the Bad Habit Artistry Two. So this one, I think, is the one that duped the Kim Kardashian and Mario palette. So yeah, this was a dupe for that. I never used this, you guys. It's brand spanking new. Very boring. I got caught up with the pop of blue. Very, very boring. So yeah, I'm going to put this in my giveaway because I'm never going to reach for this. Next, I have this 24 karat gold palette. And this was part of a collection. Gosh, I don't remember what the girl's name is. She's a YouTuber here. And I got this um, palette. This is, oh, so, so pretty. This palette has, it looks very boring, but honestly, it has a lot of gorgeous shimmer shades in here, as well as like, just this beautiful like money green shimmer this shimmer it it really has some pretty shimmers in here it don't look like much but this palette is very very pretty so i i think i'm gonna keep this i was gonna declutter it but i don't know i'm feeling like i kind of want to keep it i don't know some of them feel a little chunky but these are some of the shimmers. I mean, you know what? They're not all that exciting. That green is pretty, though. But, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I'm sure I have other palettes I would reach for before this for a shimmer. So, yeah, I'm going to declutter it. Okay, you guys, and lastly, I only have two more, and these are, like, so freaking ridiculous. This is a Clean Color Pro Artistry 144 Eyeshadow Palette. big old palette okay i did a review on this palette of course it wasn't an extensive review because honey anybody got time to be using all these shades but i wanted to try this palette out because it's like so many colors in here and so i do have a video on this but the quality is not amazing so i definitely don't need this i would never reach for this over any of my other colorful eyeshadow palettes so I'm going to declutter this because, honey, I ain't going to use it and I don't have the space, okay? And lastly, I got this <laughs> Revolution Ultimate Matte Eyeshadow Collection. This is a 144 uh, palette that I got from them for free. When I ordered some makeup, I guess they're trying to get rid of these because don't nobody want them. <laughs> so they sent this to me as well. I don't want this. I'm not going to use this, so this is going in my declutter or giveaway because I'm not, I haven't even touched this. I don't even think I've opened it, so this is going in my declutter. <sighs> so that is it, you guys. Out of the three drawers that I emptied, I've only basically filled up one drawer with palettes that I'm going to keep. All the rest are over here for declutter, giveaway and a small little maybe pile <laughs> a small little maybe pile over here but i think i did pretty good for my first palette declutter you guys let me know what you think so anyways i know this video okay you guys so my camera just said you know what enough of this you've been talking long enough heffa knock it off so <laughs> yeah it just stopped i have no idea what happened to the rest of my video but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much if you hung in this long to check out this declutter video. I feel a lot better since at least getting rid of some of my palettes and I can't wait to declutter some more of my makeup. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!